Hey guys, Kristen here from The Mindful Mom. I'm in a different location because today's video is a little bit different, but it's something you have asked for. I'm gonna give you a tour of my pantry. Well, welcome to my pantry. It is a rather large pantry and I am so grateful for that. I have lived for most of my life with a very tiny pantry and I am immensely grateful for this extra space. I'm gonna start down here at the bottom and show you what I keep on the bottom of my pantry. Um, I have my air fryer here. You guys have been asking me for air fryer recipes. I don't have any posted as of yet, but they're coming. I've been using this a lot and I like where it's going. Um, I also have a larger Instant Pot here. I have two models of Instant Pots that I test all of my Instant Pot recipes in. So my eight quart won't fit under my cabinets, but my six quart will. So I keep my eight quart in here. I also have an ice cream maker. My kids love that. Um, and down here is my hard wheat berries. I grind my own wheat to make bread. It just makes super fresh, super light whole wheat bread. My family loves it. And then in the back of my pantry here, I have some distilled water. This is for medical treatments. I have some seltzer water, some juice, a stool for us short people. I have some cleaning supplies, trash bags, things like that. I'm moving up the pantry. Over here, you can see my husband. Um, his guilty indulgence is Coke. I have some pre-made shakes here, meal replacement shakes. These are for my son after a long run. I make shakes all the time, but he drinks two or three a day, and so they're great to have some pre-made ones on hand. I also have some beer. You know that I love to cook with beer and wine. It adds a lot of great flavor, and so you'll typically find that in my pantry. And then over here, as many of you know, um, I have cystic fibrosis, and so I take a lot of medications, and my medications are shipped to me in three-month doses. So when I run out of space in my medicine cabinet, my pantry finds a home for some of these pills. Over here, I have flour. I have all-purpose. I have some coconut flour. Um, I have some vital wheat gluten, sugar, brown sugar, powdered sugar, maple syrup, a bag of active dry yeast, I, once I open my yeast, I keep it in the freezer. However, an unopened bag I store in the pantry. I have some dried mushrooms. These add great flavor to so many dishes. I also have some soy curls here. They are great meat replacements. I love to hydrate them, toss them with some buffalo sauce and make a quick wrap for them. Some extra storage bag. Up here, I have honey oils, I have canola oil, olive oil, avocado oil, vinegars, apple cider vinegars, balsamic vinegar, rice wine vinegar, distilled vinegar, white wine, red wine, pretty much all the vinegars you can have. Oats, tons of oats. We eat oatmeal, as you know, almost every day. It's hearty, it's filling, keeps us going all morning long. So I have old fashioned oats, I have quick oats, I have steel cut oats in a container here, in another container. And then back here is just some coffee, salt, tea, things like that. The top of the pantry, um, I have a big bag of dried dates, which I use for granola bars, Lara bars, just to snack on, they're delicious. Some grass-fed beef jerky. It's my son's favorite snack. Tortilla chips. You guys know we love our tacos around here and we love taco salad. And so that is one chip that I typically have on hand. I do have some cereal here. I am not a huge fan of cereal for breakfast. It just doesn't fill us up. However, I do love cereal as a snack and I love adding it to trail mix, which kind of bulks it up and um, I have plain Cheerios, oatmeal squares, crispy rice for Rice Krispie treats, of course. Kleenex, paper towels, that sort of thing. Moving right along, I have baskets here for onions, and then one for sweet potatoes and regular potatoes in here. Up here, I make my own homemade tomato sauce that I keep in the freezer. I make it in big batches, but I always have 
jarred pasta sauce on hands for those quick nights or when my freezer stash is empty. I also have chicken stock as needed for emergencies. I make my own chicken stock, but there are times I just don't have it on hand. Hot sauce. We love all things buffalo, so we always have hot sauce on hand. Sriracha, again, just for flavor. Soy sauce. I have salsa. I love jarred salsa to add to meals to really amp up the flavor, like quick skillet tacos, or a taco salad, or even some pasta. Ketchup. I have kids, so if you have kids, you probably have ketchup. And you probably buy it in bulk, like I do. I do buy the Simply Ketchup, which is just made with sugar and not high fructose corn syrup. It's just what I prefer for my family. We have mustard. This is a Cleveland, Ohio girl's favorite. Ballpark mustard from Cleveland, Ohio. And it is something that when we head home to visit family, we stock up on. We're getting kind of low. We haven't been home in a year, so we only have four bottles. Um, then I have regular mustard and spicy brown mustard and Dijon mustard as well. Great flavor enhancements for cooking with. And then over in this section here, I have jarred olives, Kalamata olives, green olives. I have some capers. And then moving up this way, I have a little basket here with open bags of dried fruit. If something does not have a seal in it, I will put it in a bag or a container. I have learned the hard way. We had bugs in our pantry, little moth larva that came from a bag of rice. The rice bag had not been opened, but one of the little larvas hatched and crawled through the bag. So I put everything in a sealed container as soon as I get it home from the grocery store or a big Ziploc bag, especially rice and lentils. Those are the two biggest culprits. But these are nuts. I have lots of different varieties of nuts here, raisins, dried cranberries, um, and then there's some chocolate chips back here. We have a container here with our chocolate. This is to show you guys this. If you ever go to Cleveland, Ohio, get some ballpark mustard and make a stop at Molly's chocolate. The best chocolate, we love it. So again, something we stock up on and hopefully this pandemic is over soon so that we can go back to Ohio to refill our stock. Okay, over here I have all my dried beans, lentils, rice. These are the things I can't stress enough that you need to remove from the original packaging and place into a sealed container. I have pinto beans here. I have a little bit of white rice. I just used an old ball jar. Um, this is brown rice. I have some chickpeas. I have a big container of lentils here. Over in the corner here, I have noodles. Now when they're boxed or bagged and not opened, I leave them right in their packaging. And I have tons of different varieties. I have ziti, I have lasagna noodles, penne, you name it, I have it. Once they're opened, pop them into a sealed container. Or if I have a box that I opened, but I want the heating directions left on the box, I just pop them in a sealed bag. So this has some couscous, some barley, and some chickpea pasta. On the top of my pantry, I have some snacks, pretzels, Cheerios, and that's just an old school Tupperware container. Like I said, we have this to trail mix or have it for a bedtime snack. Um, moving down here, peanut butter, tons of peanut butter. We eat a lot, a lot of peanut butter. Love it, use it to make granola bars, add it to oatmeal make PB&J sandwiches, just love it. Over here I have some condensed milk, some pesto, some green chilies, kind of the miscellaneous stuff that doesn't really fit in anything else. I also have some all fruit jam. Next to the miscellaneous, I have my bread that I made. Um, it's homemade bread, but it's in a sealed container. I also have a basket of snacks. Yes, I love homemade snacks, but we have quick, easy, convenient snacks too. We have some granola bars here, um, bag of popcorn, some little raisins. 
last but not least, the canned food section. I love fresh food, but I also love my canned foods. They really do help me throw together quick meals. Um, I have tons of tomato products over here, diced tomatoes, tomato puree, tomato paste, tomato sauce. I do have a lot of canned beans. Um, yes, I use my Instant Pot to make dried beans quickly, but when I just need one can of beans um, and I don't have any pre-made, I will resort to just pulling a can of beans or if my kids need a really quick lunch, um, I throw together some tacos with the canned beans and the jarred salsa and there you go. I also have canned green beans. No, they're not as good as fresh or frozen, but my husband loves them and if it gets him to eat his vegetables, I'm not complaining. I also have canned fruit here, and I always have canned pineapple and 100% pineapple juice on hand. I use it so many different ways. I use this juice to make smoothies, I use it to cook my Instant Pot chicken or beef in as it helps to tenderize the meat and flavor it naturally. And while you can purchase little cans of pineapple juice and just use them as needed for recipes, I love to purchase these cans because they actually end up being cheaper and then my kids can eat the pineapple on the side of their meal. Works. Unsweetened applesauce, this is great for low fat baking. Um, it's great to just have as a snack too. And canned pumpkin, which is great for so many things. Thanks so much guys for sticking around. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Let me know if you wanna see what's inside my fridge or freezer in the coming months. And if you wanna know how to throw together a quick meal using things that I stock in my pantry and you probably have on hand, check out my next recipe where I share with you how to get dinner on the table in 15 minutes with quick bean tacos. I'll see you there.